guys, Sashji here and welcome back to my channel. Yes, uh, it's been a while. I know, sorry I haven't been uploading, you know, I've just been really busy f with my football commitments and yes, that's not a lie, I've been training non-stop almost every single day of the week. So yeah, it's been very, very hard to upload, even on my days off, off like there's seven other people in my house, so it's hard to upload unless it's like two in the morning. So yeah, I'm going to try to get this video out for you tonight when no one's on the internet but we'll see how it goes with my editing. So yeah, today we're back with Q&A number two. You guys surprisingly sent a lot in, more than what my first Q&A had. I asked on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, and you guys sent in a shitload of questions. So let's get straight into this Q&A. And the first question to kick off this Q&A is from Emmanuel, my good friend Emmanuel, and my good teammate, Emmanuel. Who else but Emmanuel? So yeah, he, he asked, who is the best soccer player you've ever played with? So yeah, it's, it's just got to be you, hasn't it, you know, um, just for the sake of, you know, you're not killing me tomorrow when we play the most important game probably in our season, so yeah. Alright, second question comes from Lachlan, my best mate Lachlan. He says, how do you feel about the future series that we are going to make? I feel pretty confident about that. Actually, I've got the Sydney FC manager mode ready to upload, edited and ready to upload, and we're going to be filming a lot more episodes at his house this year as I can get down there more frequently and often. It's not going to be like last year in FIFA 16. It's going to be better in FIFA 17. Let's go. His question, if you were gay, who would you date? If I was gay, I'd date, I'd date David Beckham. You know, just, just, just look at him. Look, right here, mate, David Beckham. <laughs> Next question comes in from Ollie. When did I start YouTube? Um, I actually started my channel. I created it on August 2014, I think it was. I think it was in August, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, I uploaded like one of those stupid ice bucket challenge videos and then didn't upload for another like four months. So I didn't really start trying to get into YouTube until like around four or five months ago. So, yeah. Next question comes from my good friend Drew. She asked, what are your thoughts on Balmain? Uh, personally, uh, I don't know. A lot of people there, one of my best mates and good friends goes there. Also my teammate, Finn, you know who you are, Luis Suarez. Uh, he's a great footballer, he goes there. Um, as far as I've heard, it's pretty cool. They actually let you wear hoodies, unlike our school, you know. Uh, so yeah, uh, in truth, uh, I've heard it's a good school, except there's ifs, ands, and buts. So yeah, better than our school, that's all I can say. Uh, next question comes in from my good mate Seb. Um, his question is, who was your favourite Manchester United player? Uh, personally, my favourite Manchester United player from this time, like in the squad right now, it's got to be David De Gea. David De Gea is the best goalkeeper in the world, in my opinion. I don't care what anyone else says, he's the best goalkeeper in the world and he's doing a pretty darn good job at like retaining that title, so yeah. All right, so I've just been told off and told to be quieter because the time is currently 11.09. So I've got to kind of keep the noise levels down. Any of you know me personally, you know I'm not a quiet person. But yeah, let's try to be quiet. All right, next question comes in from my good walk mate, Spiridon. He asked, when did you start playing football? He said soccer, but I'm going to correct it football. I started playing football when I was around six, five or six years old. So if I was six, I would have been eight years ago, roughly. I didn't start getting into goalkeeping until I was around nine years old, eight, nine years old, roughly then. Next question comes in from my good friend and teammate for futsal, Jeremy. He asked, am I gay? Not gay. Next question comes in from Tim. He asked, what soccer team do I play for? So in outdoor, I play for Sydney Uni. Uh, that's for the under 15s this year. And for indoor, I actually play for Mascot Vipers uh, for their under 14s teams. Uh, next, next question comes in from Aiden. And Aiden says, do you have any advice for any wannabe goalkeepers? Great communication, close down your angle, make sure you're in line with the ball, catch the ball and don't concede. That's really all I can say. Next question comes in from Jude. He asked, on a scale of one to 10, how intimidating is Elise? But she is the most intimidating person you will ever meet. Like you do not want to get on her bad side, otherwise you, you're legit. And that is no joke. She's about five foot tall 
and she is the most intimidating person you'll ever meet when she's looking up on you. It's actually so, I get scared guys, I get scared because she's so intimidating and I, I just don't know how to fix this. Alright, second last question of the day from this Q&A comes from Carlos. He goes, how does it feel to be playing for New South Wales and having me as your partner? Mate, it is incredible because I've never had a chance like this before to be in a state team and to be going out to competitions like this. I've never had the chance. You might have had the chance, but I've never had the chance. So this is just phenomenal for me, really. To be playing alongside you is actually really good because we push each other to our limits and we make it very difficult for the coach at the end of the day to make a decision on who should actually start and who should play at the end of the day. And the last question comes in from Samuel, or known as Saba, he is also in my team. He asks, Hello, are you lost from the circus? And on that note, I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this second Q&A that I have made on my channel. Our third Q&A will be coming soon, guys. So many of you sent in questions. I would like to personally thank all of you. And if I see you out in public, I will thank all of you for sending questions in because this wouldn't have been able to happen if you guys hadn't sent questions in. See, it's actually phenomenal. I did want to also thank you guys so much for 120 subscribers. Uh, I know I rambled on about my 100 subscribers. This is kind of my 100 subscriber thank you video. Um, so yeah, uh, it's actually it's actually so great though because it's it's weird thinking that behind this camera there's actually 120 of you that that are sitting on a screen just watching me. Like you put 120 people in a room and that's a lot of people. Like it doesn't compare to how many KSI how many subscribers KSI has. Like. 14 million or 15 million, but 120 subscribers right now is enough for me, and I'm very happy that you. There's like 120 views. I, I couldn't care if I had one subscriber as long as people were watching my videos and enjoying them. And if you're subscribed to me, then obviously you think my videos are actually good. So, um, thank you. Um, I should stop rambling now. I just want to thank you so much once again. Thank you so much for always being there for me, guys, and constantly giving me support I need to continue this channel as I'm getting more and more motivated. So as soon as Christmas comes around, I'm going to get a new mic from hopefully some money. I'm going to get a new camera, get a, get a new setup, hopefully. So yeah, thank you guys once again for watching this video. If you have liked, please smash that like it button. Please, let's aim for 20 likes. 20 likes, that would be absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, that'd be absolutely great. Please subscribe down below as it is free, and I'll see you guys in the next video.